all right hey guys welcome back i am beast here today we're just having a quick look at the uh, battle track mod that i've been building and we're just going to put the trailer on uh, go for a quick drive and see how it feels and sounds and drives and everything else um, so far over the past week we've created the fmod engine using some sounds from the original battle track movie of the track which i absolutely loved uh, we have just the other day put a 6x6 chassis onto it as well and we also modded the chassis to work off the duty cab so that we were able to um, further refine the battle track cab uh, without having to worry about the aerodyne cab for the w900 that this whole track is built around so we um, had to pull in some ecs files modify them rename them and we got that all working which was pretty good so let's have a quick look at the battle track here there's the battle track itself and we're um, parked in my Knight Riders depot for the BTC that we have for um, uh, fast sim racing or truck uh, racing and there's the trailer so we're just going to hook that trailer up uh, find some cargo and do a quick haul so let's get into the truck uh, interestingly enough today this is my first day uh, running on a right hand uh, gear shift which is going to be very interesting uh, but we'll see how we go anyway it's so funny I keep reaching for the keep reaching for the big gear shift with my left hand We have the trailer. Let's have a quick look at the track. And there we have it. It's pretty close to uh, TV or movie accuracy now with the taper from the front of the uh, cab right up to the rear end of the trailer. I have put in here a, a tail lift instead of just the standard flatbed ramp and a roll up door. I've taken those chains, put them on the side of the trailer as well for the side doors. Put the spotlights on the ball bar now, so that looks pretty movie authentic. The only thing we're missing is a light bar across the roof, which had old style 80s spotlights and beacons and bits, which was really quite hideous. But I think I may have to put that on just to maintain that authenticity. Uh, we've also got a lot of chrome where all of that was the same colour as the track paint in the movie but I wanted a bit of chrome so we at least had a little bit of flair but anyway let's get in and go for a drive let's find some cargo quickly I haven't modded cargo yet but I am going to mod themed cargo for this uh, particular truck as well that's uh, 264 that'll be enough to get a feel for the track so let's go and do this all guys let's get some mirrors up let's get a tilim up so you can see what the engine's doing and I think we're good to go. All right, let's do this with my gimpy um, opposite hand gear shifts. Here's the Knight Rider Depot. Love that authentic sound. So this engine is a downgraded version of my Night Rider engines. It still has a lot of power, but I've made it more of a grind engine, so the rear range cuts out, caps off, and then just starts to lose power near the top of the range, much like a real engine, whereas Night Rider just has full power right to the top of the range. We're not going to wait for people, we are the battle track, so we don't have to be polite.
Beautiful sound. Looks like we're picking up a lot of pipes here. We are. Where are we going to? Kingman, Flagstaff. Kingman it is. It's a nice short road. Yep, we'll shortcut. Let's shortcut the loading process. I just really want to see how it handles out on the road with the new 6x6 chassis. sounds all right guys we're away I can't feel the weight at all of this load, but that's normal for my engines. machine. It wasn't really that way with the previous load. Hoover Dam, I wonder if uh, Megatron's still down there.
go for the uh, left foot, right hand gear change in mechanic. Definitely feels uh, feels a bit awkward. Lifetime of driving with uh, the gear lever on the left. The way we do it in NZ, the right way. Track sounds beautiful. Spotlights on the situation. Wow. Now that's field of vision. Battle trucks coming through. Now we're only 37 tons, so it's a lightweight load, so we should be good for a seventh gear takeoff. Let's try it. No problems. You can see how this engine's definitely a lot slower than my other engines if you've seen my other videos. But it definitely makes it um, really nice to drive. I can really sort of get that authentic trucking feel even though it's a gruntier uh, machine. Have a look what it's like from the cab. Beautiful sound. Listen to that sound, that's so awesome. There she is guys, so in all her glory, the battle track. Very happy with it, good first drive of it uh, with all the latest mods. One tip over that was unexpected and not planned at all. 
but um, all in all she handles quite well. I'll just have to have a look at the chassis a little bit and make sure she's weighted where it needs to be so it handles that speed a little bit better. Apart from that though I'm really stoked guys, what do you think of the battle truck? Leave any comments uh, below. Uh, if you've got any mods that you'd like to have built for yourself or made or any libraries feel free to check out my uh, web page uh, for custom libraries and that'll be in the description below as well. Um, apart from that guys look out for my next videos as we continue to mod the battle truck and uh, our Night Rider mods and other developments and vehicles coming soon as well. Hope you enjoy the video and we'll catch you real soon.